Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 602. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 597 to 603. Hey, we got a great trick here. We have a data set, but it is an incomplete data set. We have date, sales rep, product, and unit sold. And we need a formula that will calculate the total sales. But we're missing a price column and a price column with the actual price and a uh, total sales for this transaction. We do have a lookup table right here, though. This is a simple example. Just I use product one, two, three. Here's the products. Here's the prices. So we need to do something like this. If I uh, were to add an extra column, I could do a VLOOKUP. I'd look up this product over in this table right here. It would retrieve the, in this case, 3, 1999, deliver it to the formula, and multiply it by the units. But I do not want that extra column in this data set. I want to simply do it in one cell. Then we're going to do that, and then we're going to add an extra criteria. I really want the total sales for sales rep 1, 2, 3. But uh, doing it here will help us see how this works. Now I'm going to delete this right here. The trick to this is we're going to do lookup adding. And now I've done other videos on two other videos on lookup adding. There they are right there, uh, a link to them. But here we're going to do lookup adding, and we're going to have an extra column to do some multiplying. And then down here we're going to have an extra column with some extra numbers and an extra column with some conditions. So let's look at the first part of it. What we really need is the whole column of these prices. If we could simulate that uh, in one cell, we could just add them together, right? Or actually multiply the whole col as if there was a whole column of the prices times this column. So that makes this an array formula. We are going to use the sum product, which will help us a little bit. So I'm going to, um, before we do the sum product part, which will help with the array, we want to use the sum if function. This is the function you don't usually think of this as look up for adding, but it will work. Now think about this. What the sum if usually requires is range. There is the range with the criteria, product one, two, or three, comma, the criteria usually is a single cell, comma, and then the sum range. Now this is an odd construction. What it's doing is it's this is a weird way of looking up this price, right? There's the criteria. I mean, there's the range with the criteria. The C2, that is the criteria. So it looks through here, it says true. And then this is the sum range. It goes over and gets a single value. If you highlight this and hit F9, you could see it actually delivers the 1999. Control Z, but that's not what we want. We need to simulate a whole column of these prices. So we need a column that says what? 1999, 2225, 1999, 1555, 1555. So the trick here is, and this is what's going to make it an, uh, an array formula, that criteria is an argument in the sum if it's expecting a single value. As soon as we highlight this whole column, Click there, Control Shift Down Arrow. I'm going to hit the F4 key a bunch of times just to jump the screen back up. As soon as you do that, we've dumped a bunch of items into this argument that's expecting a single criteria. We turn it into an array. And guess what? It will return. All it's doing is for every single value here, it's looking here. When it finds it, it's returning that item. All we have to do is highlight this and hit the F9 key. You can see, boom, there's our simulated column. If I pull this down right here, oh, my screen isn't big enough. But you can see there it is, 1999, 22, 25, 1999, 50, 55, et cetera. I'm going to control Z because I do not want to hard code that in. So that's the conceptual trick here. That's a way of simulating an, a column uh, of lookup values. Now, in the other videos, we just added them then. That was our goal. But here, this is just going to be one column. We need to multiply this column of prices times um, the unit sold. So we're going to use the sum product. There's the first array, comma. And the second array is simply going to be the units. Control Shift Down Arrow, F4, F4, F4. 
And there it go. There it goes. It'll it will just like we had over here. We had all our lookup values multiplied. So the whole value, a whole column of lookup values, a whole column of units. That's what it's doing here. So then enter. And there it is. I'm gonna Control Shift Four. And there's our total. Now we want to take this one step further. I'm gonna scoop this out here because I've already done it. Copy Escape. Come down here. F2 for edit mode, control V. Now we have one more uh, array here, and we need to lock these. So I'm going to um, hit, put my cursor there, F4, F4, actually highlight, F4, highlight, F4, highlight, F4. All of those needs to be need to be locked as we go down. Now we have one more criteria. We need to look through this column, and only when it's SR1, sales rep 1, do we want to do our, our calculation. So I'm going to do comma to get to the third array, double negative because we're going to create a bunch of trues and falses and we need them to be zeros and ones. Open parentheses. Highlight this column, control shift down now, F4. This is the third array, equals that one right there close parentheses. Now what does this do? This is uh, These are arrays, right? So the sum product will take the arrays and multiply them. So the sum if gives us all the, the actual prices. This column gives us all the units, right? And finally this column will give us, give us a bunch of ones and zeros. So only the times where we have ones in this uh, array right here multiplied by the units times the price will we get uh, an actual value. Enter or control enter. This is not an array former this is not an array formula proper because we don't have to use control shift enter but of course the beauty of the sum product is that it handles arrays. So uh, control enter and then double click and send it down. There we have it. Um, a great uh, condensed little uh, uh, formula to do exactly what we want. All right, we'll see you next trick.